Muzak. I keep saying no music. Hey guys, it's Cupcake here. Looks like Abuelita is sleeping. Hector, Miguel, Mama Imelda, and Ernesto de la Cruz have to be super careful not to wake her up. It seems they've got a case of the munchies, so they have to make it through the maze without waking up Abuelita and getting to the refrigerator of surprises. Yeah, man, I'm totally hungry and starving. Can't you see? I'm like all bones. Abuelita is so scary. She doesn't want me playing music and I have a guitar in my hands. I don't want to play this game. I don't like music, but looks like I don't have a choice since I'm here already. Remember me, because I'm going to be the winner to get to the refrigerator first. No, you're not, Ernesto. I'm going to get to that refrigerator first. I will be the winner not to wake up Abuelita. I don't know, guys. I know my Abuelita better than anybody else, so I think I'm going to be the one not to wake her up and get the surprises. Oh, Miguel, don't you know that age comes with wisdom? I know how to not wake up my granddaughter, who happens to be your Abuelita. All right, looks like each of the contestants think they're going to get to the refrigerator first without waking up Abuelita. If they do wake up Abuelita, they have to start over. So here's how I want you guys to get in on the fun. Who do you think is going to be the winner? Remember to leave Leave your answers in the comment section. But before we can begin this fun game of Don't Wake Abuelita, it's time to see who's the winner of this Happy Places Rapunzel Painter's Corner theme pack. For those of you who follow the Cupcake Kids Club and have the bell on for the notifications of each new video, you guys know that the last video was our Happy Places Rapunzel new theme pack unboxing. Rapunzel is the new princess that Happy Places is including in their Disney home decors line and she's got a whole bunch of cute new things. We had an extra box of the Golden Gleam theme pack so one of you guys will be the lucky winner that I randomly choose with a random comment picker. This was actually a secret secret giveaway that I saved for the end of the video for the Cupcake Kids who watch all of my shows and who are subscribed and actually watch the videos to the end and the question to enter the giveaway was which of the princesses in the Happy Places home decors was a your favorite. Now let's see how many of you answered. So here is the YouTube random comment picker. I've got the URL to the video in here already. We're gonna search that up and it's gonna tell us the number of unique commenters. So there are 203 comments on that video so far and now we're gonna press the start button and it's gonna pick one of you. It's generating some names. Who is the winner? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it looks like it's An. Let's flip this over and see if we can see the whole name. Anh Masri. Congratulations to Anh Masri, who said my favorite is Belle and I want this for my kid. That is so awesome. I'm so happy for you. Now to claim your prize, I will leave the rules in the description box. You have until January 26, 2018 to email me and send me your address. Now kiddos, don't post your address in the comment section. It's very unsafe posting any personal information on the internet. So of course, I want all of you to be safe. This is to Anf Masri, who won the Happy Places Rapunzel Painter's Corner theme pack. All you have to do is email me, and once I know it's you, I'll send it out. And for those of you who did not win, don't be sad, because I love surprises, so my giveaways will be hidden in certain videos. So turn on the bell notifications, just so you are up to date with the newest videos, and I'll hide some more giveaways, like secret little gems, randomly in in my shows. That way we know that the Cupcake Kids are getting in on the giveaways first instead of some people clicking on the video just to get to the giveaway. So I want my giveaways to be to my loyal Cupcake Kids who are always leaving the sweetest comments and supporting my channel and watching the videos and just really, really being awesome all together. I love you guys and the Cupcake Kids Club would not be what it is without you guys. Now hopefully we didn't wake up Abuelita. It was a super fun moment, but we gotta get back to our game. Mm-hmm. You were about to wake up, Abuelita. You were too excited. All right, so first up, it's Hector's turn. Let's spin the wheel for him. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, Hector landed on the blue spot. And the first blue spot looks like someone threw a baseball through the window. Oh man, just my luck. 
I don't wake up Abuelita. Well, Hector gets to press the alarm clock two times. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Here I go. One and a two. <laughs> Who's playing music? I knew you were playing music. It wasn't just a dream. I, I woke her up. Does that mean I have to start over? Well, I was at the starting point anyway. It was no one, Abuelita. Go back to sleep. And poor Hector gets to go back to the start. <laughs> I told you, Hector. Don't challenge me. I'm definitely going to be the winner. Sure. Keep on dreaming, Ernesto. Oh, boy, it's my turn now. I hope Abuelita does not wake up and see this guitar in my hands. He's right. It's Miguel's turn. Let's spin that wheel for him. Let's see what he lands on. Miguel landed on the red. So the first red spot is the starting point and looks like Miguel's got a pair of rollerblades on. Oh no, I don't even have rollerblades. So Miguel's gotta press the alarm clock three times. Oh, I'm so scared and my abuelita doesn't have her sleeping mask on anymore. Sometimes she could see in her sleep. Here he goes. One, two, and a three. <sighs> I didn't wake up, Abuelita. I'm so, so happy. And I think that deserves a prize. Whoa, right on Abuelita's belly. Let's try not to wake her up. What is this? It's a Shopkins Season 9 Wild Style Blind Box. We get two new Shopkins in a pet pod. Let's get on the inside and see which of our little pet pods we got. Here's our collector's guide. And whoa, this is a huge little pet pod. Open it on up. Woo. Here is our little pet pod. It's super cute. It's got a little crown on. Let's get on the inside of our kitty cat. Woo. So here are our two blind bags. Now we didn't get the precious unicorn pet pod. And check this out, guys. This is so cool. We can get squishies in this new season. And color change Shopkins. Plus little fluffy Shopkins. Those are totally new. And they all come in their own tribes. So let's see what we got. Ooh, we got like a watermelon looking heel. Ooh, I'm loving the ombre colors. And what else? Oh cool, we got one from the Rainbow Tribe. Yep, this is little Nicole Parasol from the Rainbow Dreamers Tribe. And this one is a little translucent Shopkin. It's Stella Citrus Shoe. Next up, it's Mama Imelda's turn. Let's spin that wheel for her. And she landed on Red. Red takes her to the same spot as Miguel. Looks like she's wearing rollerblades too. Nonsense, I don't do anything fun like rollerblading. Well, you do now. So looks like Mama Imelda is going to press that alarm clock three times. Hey, my granddaughter is pretty scary looking right now. Here she goes, she's gonna press that alarm clock three times. One, two, and a three. I told you I was not going to wake her up. Mama Imelda gets to stay in the game and she gets a prize. Oh, that looks like a heavy one. Let's get that off Abuelita now before she wakes up. Here we go. It looks like it's a jungle in my pocket. We get a cute little jungle pet carrier and inside there's two jungle pets. Let's open the little jungle door. And I wonder which pets we got. Oh, sweet. Do we have a little jaguar? This one looks like a little hippo. Okay, so this little guy is Prowler, our little black panther. He's so super cute and fuzzy. And here's our fuzzy little Hank. He is a hippo, so I got it right. Finally, it's my turn to steal the show. All lights on me, remember me. All right, let's spin that wheel for Ernesto de la Cruz. Let's say he landed on the blue spot. Aye, the blue spot? No, that's where the baseball hits the window. Don't give me the blue spot. Well, it matches your costume. So let's get Ernesto on the blue spot. And of course, the baseball hits the window. I told you, you're gonna make that abuelita wake up and she's going to see the guitar in my hands. You guys know what that means. Ernesto de la Cruz gets to press the alarm clock two times. A one and a two. Whew, I didn't wake her up. So does that mean I get a prize? Yep, Ernesto gets a prize. Oh, looks like you're getting a little sister, Ernesto. It's an LOL little sister from series two. Well, I don't really think I need a little sister. I mean, I was actually thinking something along the lines of a big stadium where I can play my beautiful music. Okay, keep on wishing, buddy. Let's go ahead and open up Ernesto's little sister. And the secret message was diamonds 
her, a girl's best friend. Let's see what the first accessory is. Looks like some shoes. I wonder whose little shoes these are. Here is the chain to our ball. And of course we get one more accessory. Ooh, we get a crown. I think I know who our little sister is. Do you guys know who she is? Let's find out. It looks like it's little Miss Punk. A baby? I told you, I don't need any little sisters or little babies. Hey Ernesto, stop being so greedy. At least you're in the game. Now what was little Miss Punk's color change? Let's dunk her in some icy cold water. Whoa, looks like she gets dark purple hair and her little diaper turns black. Let's see if she has any type of tattoo on the back. I don't know what that is, but I do see some type of flower on her back. Yes, next up it's my turn, so let's see if I get in the game. Yep, hopefully Hector does get inside the game. Let's spin for him. And he lands on the green spot. Where does the green spot take him? It takes him where the TV turns on. Oh, come on. And I have to press the alarm clock six times. I'm definitely waking up Abuelita again. Here goes Hector. Let's press that alarm clock. One, two, three. Oh, ah, I woke her up again. I told you I was going to wake her up again. And I'm out of the game again. Ay, ay, ay. Who's playing music? Is that you, Mariachi? I'm coming to get you. Nope, no mariachi here. Go back to sleep, Abuelita. Poor, poor Hector. He has to go back to the start. It's now Miguel's turn. Let's spin for Miguel. And he landed on the red spot. Nice, the next red spot up is a solid space. So that means... I don't have to press the alarm clock. Yep, it's now Mama Imelda's turn. She lands on green. Here she goes. The green spot is where the TV turns on, of course. And she has to press the alarm clock six times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm really starting to like this game. Whoa, and Mama Imelda gets a really cool looking surprise. What is this? It's amazing laser putty. Whoa. Let's open this up and see see what our laser putty is all about. Ooh, nice, it comes in this tin can. Let's open it up. There is our putty, and here's our laser. So I'm gonna open up our putty, and let's see if this thing really works. So putty is definitely harder than slime. It does not stretch, but it's smushy and a little bit waxy. Let's get our putty inside our tin can. Here is our laser. Let's see if we can draw in there. Whoa, check that out. The laser is drawing on the putty for us and it's turning purple. I wonder what we could make with this. Can we make a circle? Yep, we can make a circle. And I wonder how long it takes for it to go back to normal. It's going back to white pretty fast. Can we make a smiley face? Let's make a smiley face. There you go. Hey, how come I didn't get laser putty? How about you just take it like you took my songs? It's now Ernesto de la Cruz's turn. Let's spin that wheel for him. What did he land on? I would say he landed on red. So Ernesto gets to go right where Miguel is and he doesn't have to ring the alarm clock. Ooh, that's actually better than laser putty. It's now poor Hector's turn. Let's see if we can get him inside the game. If he lands on the star, he gets to move in front of the leading player. Oh, he landed on red. And that's where the rollerblades are. And he gets to press the alarm three times. Come on, Team Hector. Give me some good luck so I don't wake Abuelita up this time. Here he goes. One, two, and a three. Woohoo! Your good luck really worked. I'm in the game. Woohoo! I definitely think that deserves a prize. Whoa, and what did he get? Looks like it's a Slitherio blind bag. I wonder if we get the rainbow Slitherio. Let's find out. Is it the rainbow Slitherio? Yes, it's the rainbow Slitherio. That is awesome. Oh, look at his little face. It's super happy Hector is in the game. Next up is my turn. I hope I go super far this time. Time to spin that wheel for Miguel. What does he land on? He lands on the red spot. And where is that? It takes him right where a cuckoo clock is going crazy. So he gets to press the alarm clock three times. One, 
two, and a three. Whoa, he made it. Looks like Miguel's in the lead. Next up, it's Mama Imelda's turn. Let's spin that wheel for her. And she landed on the blue spot. Where does that take her? Right in front of Ernesto de la Cruz, where the barking dog is at. Ay, Chihuahua, is that Dante? Dante is always barking. My Pepita is well behaved, and she never barks. OK, Mama Imelda, she's going to ring that alarm clock four times. So let's see if she can make it without waking up Abuelita. One, two, three, and a four. Woo, I made it again. She sure did. And she gets a ginormous prize. It's a garbage pail kid. Here are the ones we can get. So let's see which gross little garbage pail kid we got. Here we go, here we go. Oh, and we got our little Cyclops again. This one is a duplicate for us. Hey, Santa Maria, what on earth is this? It's Ernesto de la Cruz's turn. Let's spin that wheel for him. Oh, and did he land on the star or the yellow? Hmm, let's give him the yellow. Senora, I feel as though you are doing this on purpose. You are trying to make me not win the game. Oh, please, the wheel was on the yellow more than it was on the star. Here goes Ernesto de la Cruz. He lands on the place where the bike's going off. And he has to press the alarm clock four times. Here he goes. One, two, three, and a four. <laughs> She saw the guitar! She's looking right at me! Listen, you mariachi, I am going to get you! I don't like music! I, I came all this way, and now I have to start all over! <laughs> looks like we're in the same spot! Listen, you Hector, I'm gonna steal more of your songs! Yep, looks like Ernesto de la Cruz is at the beginning again! That's how this crazy game works! You never know who's gonna be the winner! It's time for Hector to spin the wheel again! Let's spin it for him! And he landed on the green spot, which takes him right back to the noisy TV. And he has to press the alarm clock six times. Okay, I'm definitely going to need good luck this time. One, two, three, four, five, and a six. Woo, he made it. That definitely deserves a prize. Oh, I thought I was a goner for sure. Oh, and we get another prize on Abuelita's belly. Let's get that off quick before she wakes up again. And what did Hector get? It's a Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location final figure. Here are all of the ones we can get. Now I wonder who is hiding on the inside. Who is it? Who is it? It's Nightmare Freddy! Whoa, whoa, okay, I get it. It's a jump scare game and the teddy bear is a jump scare. I get it, I get it. That's a good one. <laughs> ah, get that creepy teddy bear away! <laughs> Time to spin for Miguel. And he landed on red. Woohoo! Red takes him all the way up to where the picture frame breaks. Uh oh, that is a loud noise. And he gets to press the alarm clock two times. Here goes Miguel. One and a two. Woohoo! Miguel stays in the lead. Yes, I'm gonna win the game. Let's move him on up right where the picture frame is. And I definitely deserve a really cool prize. Nice. Looks like he gets a Marvel Avengers mash -um. So let's see which squishy little friend we get. Ooh, who is this? Whoa, look at that bubble coming out of his face. I think it's Ant-Man. If you guys know who he is, leave his name in the comment section. It's my turn now. I'm falling behind. I really want to win the game so I can go home to Papita. Let's spin the wheel for Mama Imelda. She landed on green. Where does that take her? It takes her right where she breaks the flower vase and she presses the alarm clock five times. If the flower vase wasn't enough to wake her up, the five times I have to press her alarm clock will. Here she goes. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm still in the game, woohoo. Oh, and Mama Imelda gets a squishy. It's a Shopkin Squish Delish. Let's open this on up for her and see which one we get. Oh, we got our little dumpling again. I wonder what her name is. Let's give her a squish. Oh, she's super slow rise and squishy. It's Ernesto de la Cruz's turn. Let's spin that wheel for him. And he lands on green. Where does that take him? It takes him right where Hector's at. Aw, oh, man, no. Spin again for him, spin again. <laughs> Remember me. But Ernesto, you do know you have to press the alarm clock six times. Ah. 
Uh, uh, can we spin again? Here he goes. Can Ernesto make it? One, two, three, four, five, and a six. Whoa, I made it. It must be the musical talent I have. Oh, brother, you're such a bragger. Well, where's my bride? Oh, there it goes. It's a Disney Heroes vs. Villains blind box. Hey, are you trying to tell me something? Here we go. These are all the ones we can get. We can either get a hero or a villain. Whoa, he gets Ariel, and she's a hero. You're definitely not a hero. We're at Hector's turn again. Let's spin the wheel for him. And he lands on red, which is right in front of him. He gets total immunity from pressing the alarm clock since it's a solid spot. It's time to spin for Miguel. Miguel lands on the green spot. Where does that take him? Right where he knocks over a bowl of fruit. Uh-oh, that was really noisy. And he has to press the alarm clock four times. Here he goes. One, two, three, and a four. Woohoo! moving up the game. Nice, Miguel gets a Trolls Series 6 blind bag. Time to see which little troll is hiding on the inside. Whoa, we get a glittery little troll with dark blue hair. I wonder who it is. Could this perhaps be Branch? Hey, but where's my prize? I landed on a solid spot. I think that deserves a victory. Well, maybe it does. Whoa, okay, let's get the blind bag off of Apolita. Looks like we get a Cocos collectible. Let's see who's inside this one. Ooh, we get Dante. Let's put them together. I think Miguel will love that. Let me give Dante to Miguel. Oh, hey boy, where did you come from? Miguel's in the lead, but if Mama Imelda can land a star, she will jump right in front of him. So how about we spin that wheel and see if she has any luck? Whoa, she lands on the yellow spot where she wakes up the crazy parrot. And she has to press the alarm clock six times. Here she goes. One, two, three, four, five. And Ooh, oh no, this is not good. I should not have woken up Abuelita. She is my granddaughter. Maybe she'll listen to me. Who's playing that music? You better go back to where you came from. Poor, poor Mama Imelda has to go back to the start. And she's not looking too happy about it. Next up is Ernesto de la Cruz's turn. Let's spin that wheel. And he lands on the red. Where does that take him? Well, he seems to be following Hector around. And he lands on a solid spot so he doesn't have to press the alarm clock. This calls for a celebration. No, you can't copy me. You can't get a prize for landing on a solid spot. I don't need a prize. I'm going to get all of the prizes because I'm going to be the winner. All right, next up it's Hector's turn. And he lands on red. Where does that take him? It takes him to the cuckoo clock. That is a super noisy cuckoo clock. And he has to press the alarm clock three times. One, two, and a three. Woohoo! Oh, silly, silly Hector. He gets a Despicable Me 3 pint size hero. Here are all the ones he can get. Let's get on the inside and see who it is. Whoa, what is this? Is this some type of ultra rare? That is pretty cool. She's even got her earplugs in. It's now Miguel's turn. Let's spin for him. And he lands on blue, where he breaks some dishes. And he has to press the alarm clock eight times. What? You said eight times? Oh, no. Will he make it? Let's find out. He's got Dante this time with him. Let's see if he brings him any luck. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh no. Six, seven. Will he make it? Hey, woo, he made it. Dante really did bring him good luck. Oh, this is so exciting. Looks like we're gonna have a winner soon. Let's spin the wheel for Mama Imelda. And she lands on yellow, which is the crying baby. And she has to press the alarm clock four times. Here she goes. One, two, three, and a four. And she made it. Come on, Purple Star, come on. Let me take the lead from Miguel. Let's spin that wheel for Ernesto de la Cruz. If he lands on the Purple Star, he does take the lead from Miguel. And he lands on yellow. And that takes him to a noisy bike ride. Plus, he has to press the alarm clock four times. One, two, three, 
and a four. Whoa, he didn't wake her up. Okay, so he's still in the game. It's now Hector's turn. Let's spin that wheel. He lands on yellow also. You know, how about we change the rules? How about we don't land on the same spot as someone else? I really don't want to be following Ernesto. Let's press that alarm clock four times and see if he makes it. One. Ah, I woke her up again. Oh no, I knew this was bad luck. Poor Hector is back at the start. Oh no. It's time to spin that wheel for Miguel. And Miguel landed on blue, which takes him to the finishing spot. Whoa, that is awesome. That's just crazy. Dante brought me lots of good luck. So Miguel gets to check out what's inside our refrigerator of surprises. Let's pop it open and see what's hiding on the inside. Here goes door number one. Whoa, what's on the inside? Looks like we got a couple blind bags. And door number two. Whoa, we got some more blind bags. And what's in this compartment? Oh, looks like we get something else in there. Let's take all of Miguel's prizes out. Here Miguel gets a Cocos Collectibles blind bag. Oh, we got a new one. Looks like this is Chicharron. Let's put them together. His head keeps popping off. There goes our buddy Chicharron. Now let's see what else is in here. Whoop, we don't wanna wake up Abuelita. She's still asleep. Here goes a My Little Pony movie blind bag. Let's see which movie pony we get. Ooh, nice. She's looking real pretty. It's elbow grease. It says she works hard with her pals. What else, what else did Miguel win? Ooh, looks like a Toy Story new 2017 blind bag. Let's look out for the special edition Buzz Lightyear. Here are all the ones we can get. I'm really going for Woody or Buzz Lightyear. Let's see if we get them. It's Slinky. One last blind bag. It's another Coco blind bag. Awesome. Let's open it up. Maybe it's one we don't have. Oh, it's Dante as a spirit guide. He is one of the coolest spirit guides I've seen. And what was hiding on the bottom shelf of our refrigerator? It was a Disney Happy Places Disney book. Which one will we find? Will we get Cinderella, Belle, or Minnie Mouse home decors? Let's get on the inside and find out. One, two, and woo, we get Minnie Mouse home decors. Here's our huge ginormous blind bag and our mini tile. Let's get inside this big old ginormous blind bag all at once. So we got a really cool egg carton and we'll open it up for our two Minnie Mouse eggs. They're super tiny. Let's get one in there and here's the other one right on the inside and I love how these Disney home decors are all fully functional. They open up and close up just like the real deal. Plus, we get a really cute egg holder. Well, it's the end of our show. I hope you guys enjoyed playing the Don't Wake Abuelita game with our Coco friends. They got some really cool, awesome surprises. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the fun. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.